Hello! Next days I want to show what you can achieve with Flex Engine, but before doing it, it's necessary to me explain how you can um, how you can build Godot from source with Flex. The first thing that you have to do uh, is to go in the Godot documentation where is explained how to build Godot from source. For example, we are in the Linux page. And depending on the, your operating system, you have to go in one of these sections and copy the code and paste in a new terminal. Once the execution of it is done, basically you are able to execute, you are able to build Godot from source. Since we have to also use Flex, we have to make sure that our GPU driver are about 396.45 as the requirements of Flex says. And in order to be able to, to understand if our PC, if our operating system is ready with drivers, we can, um, we can type this command NVIDIA SMI. Basically NVIDIA SMI tells what our GPU is done here and also tells our the version of our drivers. I am using the 418.443, so my drivers are okay. And uh, then another thing that I have to do is to make sure that my CUDA toolkit is installed and also the CUDA toolkit should be the version 9.2, exactly this version. In order to install the toolkit, one thing that you have to do is to go on Google, uh, type CUDA 9.2 and you will uh, find this page. Open, open this page, depending always on your operating system, uh, choose the, click the button with your operating system, click the button with the, your architecture, with the, your distribution we can uh, always choose for Ubuntu and also click the version. If you have the latest version of Ubuntu, you can, you can click the 17 version, it's not a problem. Then, depending on how you want to install the, the CUDA toolkit, you can uh, choose the run file, the dev, and uh, I personally like more the run file. So, I, uh, so you can just click on run file and download the base installer. Once the installation of this drive of the CUDA toolkit is done, you to install it, you have to go to open a terminal, make the ex make executable the run file just downloaded and install it. During the installation the installation process you have to note down the link where you will install the CUDA driver because you will need it. Also, if you are on Linux, it's mandatory for you to do an extra step that I can explain you in short. Basically, you have to tell your operating system that a new directory where to look for the dynamic library is available from now on. Now, what you have to do is to go in the uh, etc ld.seo.config.d that is a directory where there is the seo configuration the ld configuration sorry and the, the configuration is basically a file where with the list of all directories with the, the with the dynamic libraries I have already created a new file, but to, to create a new file, you have to do sudo um, touch and you can call the file as you like. I have created the new file with the name cuda.conf. Once your file is created, you can open it with sudo vim uh, cuda and uh, 
Now that the file is open, your file will be empty, but you have to insert basically this line. If you didn't change the, 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 the installation, the default installation directory. So once you have inserted this file, uh, this URL in this file, you can press ask and column and W with Q that will save the file. Now what you have to do is to execute also with sudo the ld confi configure no sorry ld config executed the ld config basically the loading uh, program uh, configuration is started and now the operating system know exactly uh, where to locate the CUDA the CUDA uh, shared object or dynamic library depending how you call it now you are uh, now everything is ready uh, to compile Godot from source the, the thing that you have to do now is really easy go to my uh, Godot uh, sorry go to my github page open the Godot fork or my Godot fork uh, click this button clone or download copy this URL and we can open a new terminal uh, choose a directory uh, as you like more for example I can choose the downloads directory and clone and clone oh my god I can't write today Okay, and clone the repository. Okay, now the repository is cloned. Let's go to the to my directory and what I have to do is to change the branch to flex branch. So git git checkout flex. Now I am on the branch flex. And what I have to do is just execute the scones. Uh, I have to execute the I have to execute the build program that is called scones. Also, I have to to tell the I have to tell the platform x11 the the target uh, target uh, the bug yes and also. I have to tell the the path where to find the CUDA drivers. Let me copy and paste it. Oh, by the way, one thing that I was about to forget is to add the J, the minus J, in order to speed up the building the building process. Now, as you can see, I have added the NVCC path with this link, and also CUDA lib with USR uh, basically this path are almost the same everywhere if you don't change the CUDA installation directory so let's start you can uh, just launch the, the execution and the building process is started It's quite done. It took a bit, but the building process exactly is done. Basically, now it's created this directory, the bin directory, where also there is the Godot source code. You can just double click, and as you can see, Godot now runs. In the this is really useful to to know this pro how to do this process and uh, you you can use it also with uh, with other implementation that you can find on my github page for example the tic-tac-toe game or uh, uh, well not the game but the godot brain implementation and so on so i hope that you like uh, this video and uh, most important you find it really uh, useful see you next time bye bye